My, my, my husband's coming back. Just, just take whatever you want. And just, just get out. So you've been in the business for a long time, and we've never seen you in a horror film. Yeah. What made you decide now that this was the actual role for you? Well, someone asked me. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> no one's ever asked before. Okay. Wow. And then, so that piqued my interest when they said, oh, you know, it's a genre film. Mm -hmm. And it's people that did The Conjuring are like, okay, I'll read it. And right. so, and I read it, and of course, I, <clears throat> Oh, right. uh -huh. <laughs> I did that a couple of times, like, yeah, I'm uh -huh. there. And and the writing, there were characters, mm -hmm. it was well written, and you could tell, you could see it, because it took, in the, it took into consideration the cinematography, because we had a brilliant cinematographer directing it, mm -hmm. and so that was another attraction for me, is I knew Leonetti's work, right. and I knew that I directing would be something special and Definitely. so um, yeah I jumped on board you know you always for me as an actor mm -hmm. I don't like doing the same thing if I know I can do something I've already done it why am I doing that again yeah so and, and, but the nature of the business is to ask the same thing of us over and over again so you, as an actor you have to try to keep finding the difference between all the people that you're playing that might be of a certain within a cer certain parameters. And you're um, very good at that, because that's what you're known for, oh, being very oh, versatile, good. yes. Do so, you believe in paranormal activity? Do you think that stuff like that really happens? Have you had any experiences of your own? I have personally never had a relationship <laughs> okay. with a demon, but... Right. Um, that's good. That's, you know, my reality, people's realities is subjective, mm -hmm. and that's just, that's just what's happened to me. Right. But I don't discount what other people's realities are. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we all tell our stories. And so um, all of those stories are interesting to me. Yes. You know, I think um, we all, from the time we're little, we say, well, what's that? And you realize you've got hands and he's like, well, what's that? And the people start to talk to you about the things you can't see. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to conceptualize it as a kid, I think we always keep that with us, is that there's got to be more than I'm Something. seeing. Right. And uh, some of us fill it with that extension of us materially. We, It's filled with a positive light or, or images or mm -hmm. encounters. and some of us experience the opposite. Right. And so, uh, like I said, I, I'm helping to tell somebody's story. Definitely. Well, you're a mother, and uh, in this movie you had to sacrifice. What's like the biggest sacrifice you've made either for yourself in your own life and career or for your family? Um, I think somebody looking on would have to say what I've sacrificed for my family. Mm -hmm. Because when you take action, out of love, it's never really a sacrifice. Uh, any other roles that you would love to just indulge in that you've never done before that you're like, I gotta do that? Well, you know, right now, as a matter of fact, I'm playing on NBC, I'm playing uh, the president yes. on State of Affairs uh -huh. with Katherine Heigl. Um, I never thought, ooh, I wanna be the president, but when they said, hey, you wanna be POTUS, like, hell yeah, I wanna <laughs> right. be the president. So I'm having a good time doing that. Um, but again, it's usually when somebody, I don't think of things, when somebody comes to me with a great idea, I go, oh yeah, I'll try that. Right, well um, speaking of the president, he has you on the committee, correct? Are you still- President's Committee on Arts President's and Humanities. Committee. Are yeah. you still a part of that? Oh yeah, okay. very actively. What, what do you do, what does that entail? What we do basically as a committee is that we, we implement the president and the first lady's ideas on uh, art for the American public, whether it is, uh, it's, it's um, things like, right now we choose, that committee is focusing heavily on education. Mm -hmm. We also focus heavily on cultural diplomacy. But in education we have a project called uh, the Turnaround Artists. And what we are doing is that we are turning around our lowest performing schools in the country by integrating arts into the regular curriculum. Nice. And within, you know, four or five months, you see the culture of the school turn around, you see the attendance uh, rise, uh, just behavioral problems disappear, and even the culture of the community around the school changes. So one of the things that we are doing is that we, we have a study, it's a 72 page document, you shouldn't have asked me, 72 page document that you can go online for yes. the PCAH uh -huh. and see it. 
and it is it has all the numbers of exactly how high uh, a student's uh, the grade level the grades rise the mm. test scores rise mm. when they have music yes. as well as science and that and that music and math support each other there's areas of our brains that right. open up when we are playing or singing music right. that makes us uh, a little smart makes us comprehend and and math more and also and to retain uh, language skills when we're doing visual arts so I do that kind of work in, in failing schools that are not failing anymore. So Annabelle I of course have to ask you was that creepy for you when you when you first got the role and the doll's name is your name? Well when I first was presented with the project <laughs> I thought finally they're making the story of my life so far. Wait, wait a minute. So much. Where did this accent come from? Yeah. Did I hear it before? Right. This one? Right? No, did. your accent. Yeah, no, I'm English. I know. Oh. Yeah. You did, so you can do both accents. Oh yeah, yeah. I work okay. in accents. Cool, right? That's yeah. awesome. Pretty good. Yeah. I was like, wait, when oh, we just. Oh, thank you. When we just talked. You thought that was fake when she was just doing right yes, there? Yes, oh, I did. Wow. I, I <laughs> what a loon. Yeah. Well, you might think the same thing. It's at better the end of than your cat, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. What were we talking about? Yeah, we were talking about your name and and the doll Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was film. a self-titled film. Yeah. Very upset when they told me it was actually about a doll called that girl. And not you. Who was demonic. <laughs> <laughs> so I was slightly upset about that. Yeah. But yeah, very, um, it was kind of, you know, serendipitous. It was very, um, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. When, are, when uh -huh. are you gonna have that happen again? And it's right. also the spelling. The spelling is very, you know, my, my name is spelled exactly the same way, but Annabelle can be spelled in many different ways. So right. I just thought it was meant to be. That's what I said to John Definitely. when I met him. John, yes. It's meant to be. There yeah. mustn't be a doubt here. Yeah. Right. Well, oh, how I got cast. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so you are from London. How did that come about that you were asked? Did you have to audition obviously yeah. for the role? So how did that even come about being in a whole nother country? Um, I, I do, well, I did a tape. That's what a lot of actors do mm -hmm. um, across the pond. Yes. And um, it's kind of, yeah, you, I just taped it. I was actually on another film. So a bunch of other actors, um, I should thank very much for <laughs> putting the time in, in my hotel room. <laughs> and I sent it off and they responded and it was very quick after that. It was Christmas Day I Skyped for John. Mm -hmm. So it was the day after Christmas I got off of the job. What a nice present. Great Christmas that, that's, gift. That's a little weird, right? Yeah. With a demonic weird. type of film. <laughs> I, I try not to think of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so how did you guys prepare? How would you prepare for a role such as this? No, I think understanding for us, understanding the time period and what was going on during that time. Mm -hmm. uh, understanding the case, cases of Ed and Lorraine Warren. Uh, who we read, we read their book, or I think we both read their book, The Demonologist, uh, mm -hmm. which has a chapter in there, the Annabelle chapter. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of understanding the, what, what goes on uh, behind uh, these, this idea of evil spirits and, and things like that, um, for me, you know, that, was, that was a lot of it. I yeah, mean, that was a big well to draw from, um, I think, as an actor, all you can hope for is to make your character interesting, add layers to them, mm -hmm. and make them human, and I, I think, at the core of the film is a very human story, which is family, which is love, which mm -hmm. is um, I love the fight that for survival. Too in the beginning. Yeah, and I yeah. think that you know everyone can relate with that, and that's the through line between you and your audience, and also getting them to believe this journey that you're about to embark on together. Mm -hmm. And you know they want to stay with you and root for you, so mm -hmm. you you prepare by layering them and trying to make them interesting. They don't want you to die halfway through. <laughs> I was worried about that. I was like, oh bloody hell, I thought I was going to yeah, be like, Yeah, you guys carried the whole it. movie too. That, <laughs> yeah. that was awesome. I really enjoyed it, by the oh, way. Good. Right. You know, it, it has a lot to do with paranormal activity, mm -hmm. this film. Have you guys had any experiences in that or do you believe in it? Apparently Ward has. Yeah, no, yeah. I had a yeah, I had a medicine cabinet fall off the wall in the apartment I was staying in the mm -hmm. day that I opened the script when I came out here to shoot. Uh, wow. I was in my apartment, opened the script, fell off the wall. Two weeks later, fell off the wall again when I was rehearsing in my apartment. Oh wow! Yeah, which was a little freaky. Yeah, Me, not so much. Yeah. No, I think the fact that I have an attention span of a gnat means that even if something hit me in the face, <laughs> You're like, a ghost oh. smack, I'd be like, oh, what's that? What's that? Oh dear! Oh. <laughs> Back. Oh, we're we doing coffee.